Hey, I'm Lisa and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you on a tour of some of our um, in-progress house renos as well as talking about why I think it's important to decorate a rental. So we've been in our new house for about four months and we have done some things to make it our own and I'm really excited about some of the progress. It's been an interesting thing to try to figure out how to decorate a rental in terms of how much do you spend, what can you take with you, and so I wanna walk you through some of my thinkings, my musings, and why I wanted to decorate this rental and yeah, give you a bit of an update. So here we are in my front foyer and um, the first thing we did was we were to add all this shiplap. I just love, love, love the texture that the shiplap creates. Um, this house is like a cabin. Well, I mean, it is a cabin in the woods in a lot of ways. And so the shiplap, I thought, brought that very rustic texture that um, I just think is really fun. Another thing we did was to change out the doors. Now, this was purely a function thing. All of our doors before looked like this. They were louvered. Um, and honestly, all sound, everything passed through them and it just was not strategic with as many children as I have. So I put in these solid doors. These are doors by Matri and they are solid and they block sound and they are awesome. And this is our living room and I am kind of obsessed with this space. I'm obsessed with the natural light. I'm obsessed with the amount of seating I'm able to have. I'm obsessed with these little birds that are on the ceiling. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these mature trees. And um, yeah, like it just works so well for our family. So we took the shiplap all the way around um, the perimeter. And I just love the texture that it creates. It's so fun. I still gotta do quite a bit of work to it. I'm trying to save as much money as possible, so I'll be the one filling in all the holes. And, um, and this is my office, so this is gonna be my little you know, spot where I do my work, edit my videos. Um, it's a bit of a work in progress. I mean, like, this is beginning to be a cute little vignette, <laughs> but everything else is kind of messy and needs to be styled, but it'll be really pretty when it's all done. And here is my dining room. Again, we took the Matri shiplap and pound molding all the way around and replaced the door. That's the door to the kitchen. And um, it's just like so nice to have a table that's large enough for my entire family. So this table is new. It was a very inexpensive table from a retailer here in Canada called Strictooth. And then these chairs, if you recall, um, are my chairs from my former house. They were outside and they work um, pretty well in here. I love that they're wipeable. Uh, they're plastic and uh, really nice and wipeable for my kids. So it kind of works out really well. And everywhere you get this view, like everywhere. The whole house is wrapped in just gorgeous natural light. It's like vitamin D heaven. So I wanted to share with you guys a couple of reasons why we decided to invest in this rental. So we sold our house in Toronto, moved into this rental, not entirely sure how long we're gonna be here, but um, you know, it, at minimum, obviously we've signed a, a year lease. And so really, I just wanted to make sure that I was gonna be happy here and that my family was gonna be happy. So the first thing that we did in the rental was address any function issues. So for us, that was the doors. There were louver doors literally on every single door. The bathrooms, the children's rooms, all sound, all noise, everything carried through these doors. And so we knew that we had to address them and so that's why I decided that it would be a worthwhile investment to put in solid doors. So that was the first thing we did was we really looked at what is not working from a function point of view. And then of course, I really value beauty. So I have done interior design as a profession for the last 10 years. And so I really do believe that beauty um, and how functional a space is impacts your um, mood, your happiness, um, how much you enjoy a space, how well you're able to function. So because beauty is such a high value for me, I knew I wanted to make the space um, really pretty. I also, from a function and a practicality point of view, I do quite a bit of shooting. Um, I have a YouTube channel, obviously. I um, create content for brands uh, as part of my job. Yeah, Hi, now. Joseph. I wanna. Do you like this house, Joseph? Yeah. Do you like the sofa? Uh, yeah. Do you like to jump on the sofa? Yeah. Let's go jumping. 
What a funny guy. So um, because I do quite a bit of shooting, I knew the house would have to work for that kind of, you know, for, for that function to be able to shoot um, content and do things for the brand partnerships that I um, engage in. So making sure my house um, felt like me, felt like us as a family uh, was a really important value. So yeah, I, I guess I would say anybody who is living in a rental, the things that I would consider are a couple things. Number one, function. How, um, is there anything that's not working in the space that you really do have to fix? And so there were quite a few function things. I talked about the doors and there's some things downstairs in the basement that I'll share with you guys um, really soon that we had to address from a function point of view. Um, and then number two, values. So what do you value? Do you value how, um, how much a space impacts you? Do you value, um, you know, things like lighting and how much um, space there is for people to sit? Um, and congregate together. That's a really big value of mine. And it's so fun that now I finally have a space where all of my kids can, number one, sit at a dining table together. That's like huge for me. Um, because in our old house, we only had seat seating for six because that's it. My house was small and um, we have six children. So we could never sit at the table together. Uh, so that's a really big value for me. And this living room area where we're all able to just like, on multiple sofas and multiple chairs, uh, we're able to be comfortable and really just enjoy each other's company. So how much do you value um, things like beauty and things like um, how many places there are to sit and whatnot? And then the third thing I would say that you need to consider is budget. So you have to be very careful and cognizant, and we certainly were in this space with how much you spend because of course things attached to the wall like my shiplap, like my crown molding, they're not really coming with me. The advice that I would give is to set a budget and to just stay within it and really be cognizant of the things that you're spending money on that you're not taking with you that are permanent and the things that you're spending money on that you will be able to take with you into a future home and incorporate into future decor. So some of the things that I was like very um, cheap and cheerful with because we did spend quite a bit of money on the things that are going to be remaining on the walls, meaning the, the shiplap and the um, crown molding, were things like the light fixture. So my light fixture is a very uh, cheap and cheerful piece. I was also very careful that things would be kind of neutral in the sense that wherever we end up next, um, I wouldn't necessarily get too tired of it, or if I wanted to resell it, it wouldn't be so unique that I might have a difficult time selling it in the future, so I was also very cognizant of that. So yeah, I would really say you've gotta look at function, you've gotta look at what you value, and then you've gotta just set a budget um, and remain within it and just decide how much you're willing to spend in a space um, on things that you're gonna leave behind and how much you're willing to spend on things that you could potentially resell or take with you. Um, and then the final thing I'll say is that I just really believe that a home is very important to invest in regardless of how much you're investing. Meaning that I just think that home is where you spend so much time, it's where your family makes memories, it's where um, so much interaction happens that um, is very vital to a family and so to make it comfortable, to make it um, beautiful to make it work for you and your unique um, family is a very high priority to me. So um, I think whether you live in a home that you're going to be in forever um, or you live in a rental, um, you should really make it your own. One other final thought I will share is to, is to think about how long you're going to be in the space and to think about amortizing the costs that you're investing over that period of time. So for example, if you're gonna be in a space for minimum a year, or if you know you're gonna be in the space even longer, then think about the cost. So if you've spent you know, $5,000 on upgrades and painting and whatnot, divide that by you know, 12 or 24 months, and you'll see that it's not that expensive when you amortize it over time. Do you have any tips on um, renovating a rental? Do you have any questions for me on how to stretch your budget? I'm definitely gonna be sharing a full home tour when this space is all done, including um, some other areas of my home I haven't shared with you yet. Uh, but I'm just, I'm so excited to be in this space. Honestly, we couldn't believe it when we found it and we still can't believe it. I honestly 
walk around like every morning in disbelief that I live here. So it's just wild and I'm really happy to share my little cabin in the woods with you. If you like this video, I'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up and to hit the subscribe button below. Thanks so much for watching and cheers to designing your beautiful life.